my name is Caroline Kaiser. I'm the groomer here at the Bed and Biscuit Ranch in Bismarck, North Dakota. Um, I know that with COVID, we don't get a whole lot of time to see um, each other face to face, so I wanted to give you guys a chance to um, put a face with the name. Um, so, hi, I'm Caroline. I've been grooming your dogs for about a year and a half now. Um, I had a cancellation this morning, and so I just wanted to take a time to make this video. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while, and I just wanted to kind of share with you um, a little bit of what your dog experiences when they come here. Um, products that we use, services that we offer, things like that. Um, when dogs first come in, um, I try to do a coat assessment outside depending on how excitable they are or how challenging their coat is. Sometimes it's just not possible to always like check out their coat when mom and dad are around just because yeah, they're excited, they're nervous, they might be a little scared. It's normal to coming to a groomer. Unfortunately, dogs get a little anxiety coming here sometimes. Um, so first thing we do is we get them on a table. Um, this is our, our grooming table setup. Um, we use a groomer's helper um, just so it helps to protect dogs from thrashing. Um, it protects them from um, too much stress on their throat if they were to like slip off the side of the table. Um, it also prevents me from getting bitten and so it's a really good system that we have set up here. Uh, it's really common, really popular, a lot of people use this system. Um, first thing I do is assess coat and make sure that whatever services that we're doing are going to be adequate, whether it's a German Shepherd or a Husky that needs a D-shed or if a doodle, uh, like a doodle or a poodle that needs a big fluffy haircut, we have to assess for matting, knots, things like that to make sure that we find um, a haircut that is uh, maintainable, manageable, and works for the lifestyle of the dog. Um, sometimes it's a shave down, sometimes it's a big fluffy cut, it just depends on the dog. Um, the nice thing I do is assess nails. I almost always do nails um, first um, before dogs get a bath or any other kind of services here. Um, one, because I'm always conscientious of dogs breaking nails while they're here. I don't, um, I don't want any animals to get injured while they're here. I try to keep everything very low stress here. Um, I do have a speaker system so that dogs that are here um, as residents when they're boarding, if they start barking or they have something that excites them, it doesn't affect the sound in here very much. Um, I try to keep something playing. Usually I'll play something on Amazon Prime or a podcast or music, something that kind of just distracts from the background noise. Um, so we get their nails done and then the next thing they do is go into the bath. Um, bath uh, shampoo and um, conditioner always depends on dogs breed type coat not every dog gets the same treatment we have a special shampoo that's just for go home baths and it's um, it's a good quality shampoo it just gets them clean it keeps them smelling nice for a couple days at a time um, and it's it's just a um, it's just a high dilution shampoo. It's really, it's pleasant, it's not um, irritating, it's made with good quality products, so it's, it's a good all around shampoo. Um, we use quadruped products, which are um, a, another step up for actual grooming appointments, grooms that are done by me. Um, these products are all natural. They have antibacterial and anti-yeast um, properties. The D-Shed from Quadruped is awesome. I've never seen a D-Shed that works so well ever. <laughs> it's wonderful. We're really glad that we upgraded in the last few months um, so we can get better quality um, services for you guys so your dog's haircuts will turn out better, their D-Sheds will turn out better, um, their higher quality will improve over time. Um, we also offer uh, blueberry facials. Those are things that we just include with front service grooms and um, bath and brushes. Um, it's just a part of their groom. It's something that we know is safe around their eyes. Um, it's not going to sting. It's not, I put it in my own eyes. It doesn't sting your eyes. It's wonderful. It's a good product. We clean ears with every single service that we do, whether it's a go home bath with the kennel workers or a bath and brush or full service groom with me. Every dog gets their ear cleaned. Uh, we don't like to risk ear infections. We also want to make sure that we check every ear that comes in here because if you guys don't know what's going on about it, your dog is ultimately the one that suffers from it, right? So we like to let you know um, ahead of time what's going on with them. Um, all bath um, blowouts, like full blowouts, happen here. Um, I do very little kennel drying with dogs um, unless they're very stressed out about having their faces um, blown out or they're just stressful in general. Um, I have a lot of different options for blow dryers. I have two different blow dryers here. This is um, a standing blow dryer and this is my force dryer. But I also have this nifty little tiny brush blow dryer. Um, this is really good for dogs that are um, fearful having their ears dried or having their faces dried. It's really um, uh, low velocity and so it doesn't give that like 
scary loud noise around their ears is really gentle. Um, I've managed to rehab a lot of dogs using that product. Um, dogs that were afraid of having air around their face now tolerate a lot better with the force dryer, the stand dryer. Um, other things that we offer here, um, I do have um, leave-in conditioners. I have um, hairsprays, I have mousses, I have all kinds of things that help to improve your dog's um, hair texture so we can do good cuts on them. Make sure you get that nice round muzzle if you want it or a big fluffy top knot if you want it. I love using products in dog's hair um, just to make sure that we give you a good quality product by the time we're done. Um, we do nail polish. <laughs> I just ordered a bunch of new kits for nail polish so we have we will have a bunch of new colors coming in soon. So if you're one of those people that like to have green for St. Patrick's Day or pink for Valentine's Day, we would love to accommodate that. Make sure your dog leaves here looking styling. <laughs> um, I don't mind doing simple patterns like um, doing tips on dog's nails or doing, um, um, doing polka dots, things like that. I have a lot of fun with things um, <laughs> along those lines. Um, and so if you are looking at doing things like that, I am absolutely open to doing all kinds of wonderful funky stuff like that. Um, I also am starting to expand my services into doing um, color dyeing for dogs. Um, not a whole lot of anything that's too complicated, just solid solid color mixes. Um, I've tried doing a few things and as my skills increase with that, um, I expect that I'll be able to offer more um, on a professional level for my customers. Um, we do have a kennel dryer and a kennel setup. Um, we try to keep everything really quiet in here. Um, sorry. We do try to keep everything really quiet in here just because we want to make sure that dogs have a good experience when they come here. Um, I've seen a lot of dogs that have had like really struggled um, with other groomers either because of all the extra dogs barking or there's too much action going on in the grooming room, too many people coming in and out. We try to keep it pretty calm in here. When I'm in here working, I don't have a lot of people coming in and out. I don't have a lot of dogs coming in and out. It's basically just me and whatever one or two dogs I'm working on at the time. And dogs tend to do really well in that environment for me. Um, and I have very, very few issues with dogs um, being groomed uh, while we keep it nice and calm like that. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns or you want to talk to me about anything that I might have overlooked or didn't get to talk about today, please just shoot me a comment or you can message me here at the ranch. Um, I respond to Facebook messages um, on my personal Facebook and on the business Facebook. Um, we have an email address that you can find on our website. Uh, we're www.bed, the letter N, biscuitranch.com. Um, but feel free to leave a comment um, and let me know what you think of our salon. Have a good day.